Here we go, we're going to solve these simultaneous equations x squared plus y squared equals 5 and y equals 3x plus 1. Now because y equals 3x plus 1, okay, we can replace the y here with 3x plus 1. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take this 3x plus 1 and put it where that y value is. So let's do that. So you get x squared plus, now we're going to replace the y with 3x plus 1. And y is squared. Yep, you had x squared plus y squared. So it's just this bit here that's been replaced with the 3x plus 1. And this was equal to 5. And that's what we do. And then we can now just solve this for x. So let's multiply these brackets and solve for x. Now if you're not great at multiplying brackets, remember to use FOIL. And you need to realise this is a double bracket expansion, in case you may have forgotten. So you get 3x plus 1 times 3x plus 1. And we want to times the first two things together. So the first two things are the 3x and the 3x. And that gives us 9x squared. And the next thing we want to times together is the two outer two things. So you've got the 3x and the 1. And that just gives us 3x. And the next thing we want to do is times the inner two things. So the inner two things are the 1 and the 3x. Actually, let's just help you see that so you can see what I'm using to describe each thing. So you've got the inner two things, the two green things, and you've got the 3x. And now we're going to do the last two things, so I'm going to highlight those with yellow. The last two things are the two 1s, so 1 times 1 is plus 1. And we've also got that still equal to 5. Now we can simplify all of this. We've got x squared plus 9x squared is 10x squared. 3x plus 3x is 6x plus 1 equals 5. Well, let's bring the 5 to this side. We subtract 5 from both sides. When you get a quadratic, get everything on the same side. You know you've got a quadratic because you've got an x squared. So minus 5 from both sides, we get minus 4. Straight away, to make a factorization easier, we can see we can divide throughout by 2. So let's do that. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 4 divided by 2 is 2. If you don't see that, just and you can't factorise it, just put it straight into the quadratic formula. There's no need to hang about. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to try and factorise this and see if we can do it. And just, yep, it can be done. I'll just have a quick look, and I can see what it is. If you can't see how to factorise, again, just stick it straight into the quadratic formula. So we've got 5x here and x. Those are the only factors of 5x squared. You can't do it any other way. So now we need to times these so we get a 3x. Now I'm going to put a 2 here and a 1 here because 2 times x and 1 times 5, you subtract those, you get 3x. So I need to make sure I've got a minus 2x to get the 3x and a plus 5x to get the plus 3x. Now either all of this must equal naught or all of this must equal naught. So I get 5x minus 2 equals 0, or x plus 1 equals 0. So therefore, 5x will equal 2 here, and x will equal minus 1 here. Uh, we're just running out a little bit of space, so I'm just going to write here that x equals 2 fifths. And we see x equals 2 fifths, and x equals minus 1. Now, we just need to find out the y values of this. So we've got x equals 2 fifths and x equals minus 1. So y will equal, min when x equals minus 1, y will equal minus 3 plus 1, which gives us minus 2. And x, when it equals 2 fifths, that will give us a y value of 3 times 2 fifths, which is 6 fifths, plus 1, which gives us 11 fifths. And those are our two sets of answers.